Hey, everybody. Welcome back to TLU. Bill and I are not wearing the same shirts that we're wearing in another video. These are actually different shirts. Bill owns three of those. I own three of these. We're changing. Don't worry about that. That's the only outfit I've ever seen you in. Well, that doesn't mean I never wash it. Fair enough. But this you is Trivia it. League Unlimited. TLU uh, for, you, for the fans out there. Uh, we got another sure shot playing match tonight. Uh, I'm not going to say who's playing. I'm going to let Bill say who's playing this time just to change that. Bill, who we got today? Uh, well, uh, first up, we have uh, one Mr. Uh, Stephen Shepard. Uh, we know. Uh, he's been, competed in this league before. It was also top 10 in the uh, previous league, so no slouch. Going up against uh, no stranger to these leagues, Mr. Kirk Kolkowski, who uh, I have uh, won and lost matches against so many times. Uh, always a fun opponent. So... I think this is going to be a good match. This could be uh, interesting. These are two different kind of style players, so it should be fun. Yeah, yeah. I think it'll be close. Like We've been having a lot of close matches recently. I don't think this is going to be any different. So let's just bring these guys in and talk to them a little bit. All right. Oops. Steve's coming in first. Oh, Steve, Steven, how you doing? How are you today? Hey, uh, uh, good. Yep. Yeah. Uh, just uh, here to have fun. <laughs> All right. Well, you picked um, 21st Century Best Picture Oscar winners as your strength. No, I mean, it's 20 something movies. You feeling okay with that? Um, We'll see, because that is a lot of movies. Yeah. <laughs> so, bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Yeah. <laughs> it's funny. Yeah, I looked at the list. I think I saw four of them. <laughs> <laughs> there right. are a few that I haven't seen, but I've seen the majority of them. All right. Well, hopefully. Luck is on your side, and you hit all the ones that you've seen, and we will be looking forward to you answering those questions, at least during one of the rounds. So we'll just drop you back and bring in Kirk real quick. Speaking of Oscars, here he is. <laughs> yeah. uh, Kirk, on the other hand, I know you've seen all the movies in your strength probably 20 times. Frequently, yes. Yeah. yeah. So how are you feeling then? I'm feeling good. I'm excited to be back here. Um, I enjoyed myself last time. I uh, had, uh, had a tough opponent, first of all, but also just had some uh, bad luck on my end. Um, but I'm hoping to rebound from that. Um, I, ha I had a good time. I'm excited to play Steven. I don't think I've – I think this is the first time I've ever met Steven. I don't think we played or been on any shows together. Mm -hmm. um, so it's cool to, to get to meet him for the first time. Um, but, yeah, hopefully I can uh, move on and uh, make some headway from here. Yeah, oh. funny enough, all the short shot play-ins are matches that have actually never really occurred except for, like, one. Cool. So, yeah. We're bringing it to you here at Trivia. <laughs> yeah, you know, have a little fun with it. You shake it up. So, yeah. all right. Let's, let's bring Steven back. Guys, you've both been here at least one time before, but I'm going to explain it just in case somebody joined this video and then picked this video at random. I'll explain the rules to them. Uh, first round is a semi-speed round. You're going to get eight questions. You're going to write all eight answers on your board at the same time, so your board should be numbered one through eight. I'll ask a question. Ten seconds will pass. Bill will ask a question, and we'll ping-pong back and forth until we've asked all eight questions. Throughout the course of the game, you get three repeats and a challenge. In the event in round one, you want some extra time, you could use a repeat, uh, and that'll just give you 20 extra seconds at the end, and it gives you the ability to ask for repeats during that 20 seconds. Any questions? On the repeats, we could ask four specific questions, right? Yep, you could say, yep. give me two and three. Like, there's right. time for two or questions. just give me, like, hey, what was six again, or whatever. Yeah. So, okay. Yeah. All right. With that being said, we queue up my phone, and then we'll get started. Cool. So, I'll you, take you, you ask the first question, Bill. Yeah, I'll give you a minute, so. Uh, gentlemen, if you're ready, your first question comes in the category of crime. Where specifically is Beaumont when Ordell shoots him in Jackie Brown? There's not many good places to get shot, so I mean, I can't really think of any. Maybe the leg, I don't know. Yeah, I guess, yeah. Okay. Your second question comes in the 1970s. Who stars opposite Peter Falk as Nikki in 1976's Mikey and Nikki? That's whoever you're talking about for you. I'll tell you that. <laughs> can't, can't, you know, I don't want to do that again. That's my fuck up. Uh, your next question coming to the category of uh, actor slash actress filmographies. Who appears in the films Nacho Libre, 8mm, and Bad Boys 2? What a film. I mean. Somebody was in all these. Yeah, all right. Who was it? Your fourth question is going to come in 21st Century Best Picture winners. What profession does Ki Jung pretend to have working for the Park family in Parasite? Uh, 
That one I saw. I, I did see that as well. Yeah, it's a very good film. So, all right. Uh, your next question will come in the category of the 2000s. What 2008 comedy features a cast that includes Alan Arkin, Steve Zahn, and Emily Blunt? Are you okay, Neil? So, there are three people who have never been in my kitchen. They haven't been in my kitchen either. It's crazy. Yeah, we're we're both Cliff Clavin. Your sixth question comes in the category of classics. What is the first plague visited upon Egypt in the Ten Commandments? It's also technically a biblical question. So. Yeah, also, if you know your Bible. I don't. <laughs> I ejected all that shit right after, right after Catholic school. All right, your next question. We'll come in the category of the 1990s. What 90s comedy is the only Bill Murray film that he also shares a director credit on? That multi-talented Bill Murray. And your final question is going to come in the other strength of 1970s Al Pacino. What city do Max and Lion travel to when they visit Max's sister in Scarecrow? And your ability to utilize a repeat will expire in five. Uh, I'll get a repeat of uh, number five. Sure. Repeat of number five. Five is in the category of the 2000s. What 2008 comedy features a cast that includes Alan Arkin, Steve Zahn, and Emily Blunt? 20 seconds from here. And five, four, three, two, and one. Hands down. Stephen, we'll go. Actually, yeah, Stephen, we'll look at your board first. What you got? Uh, I only got I, I only got um, Sunshine Cleaning I believe is the the, the 2000s one and Danny Trejo's the answer to the uh, filmography question yeah okay and Kirk um, number one I said Trunk of a Car number two John Cassavetes number three Jack Black uh, number four, I scratch out tutor because I thought our teacher and I said tutor because I think that's more accurate, but I don't think either of those are right. Um, I said sunshine cleaners for number five. Uh, number six, was it frogs? Uh, number seven, I guess quick change. Can you guys see these okay? Yep. And uh, number eight, I said Denver. I got Kirk up four to one. Is that what you have, Phil? That is what I have. Yeah. Okay. So we will go, go over these answers. answers real quick. Yep. Yeah. Beaumont's uh, truck in the car okay. is correct. Uh, John Cassavetes is also who stars alongside Peter Falk. Uh, Peter Stormare has the filmography that includes Nacho Libre, Eight Millimeter, and Bad Boys Two. Uh, art therapist is the job that Ki Jung has. Uh, Sunshine cleaning is mm. the name of the movie. Uh, a the water turning to blood was the first plague that visited Egypt. Uh, Quick Change was the movie that Bill Murray also directed, and Denver is the city that they did travel to. So. All right. That being said, we're going to round two. Round two is our wheel round. The only difference with our wheel is that you guys picked everything on that wheel. Uh, your, both your strengths are on there and six categories you draft that we've already visited. They're all on there. There's also spinners and opponent's choice. Kirk, since you're in the lead, would you like to spin the wheel first, or would you like Steven to spin first? I will defer. All right, Steven, this is your first spin. You do get a respin if you don't like this. Lands on the 2000s. Do you want that or do you want to spin again? Uh, I'll keep it. All right. All right. Uh, Bill, you want me to read these or do you want to read the 2000s? Yeah, you know, you go ahead. You, 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 we'll switch it up. I went first last time. You go first. Sounds good. All right. Stephen, your questions in the 2000s. Here's your first question. How many films did Ridley Scott direct in the 2000s? We have a little bit of extra time on this one. But five, four, three, two, uh, five. Five is incorrect chance for a two point steal. How many films did Ridley Scott direct in the 2000s? I'll say four. 
who was also incorrect, he directed eight films. Wow. Those films being Gladiator, Hannibal, Black Hawk Down, Matchstick Men, Kingdom of Heaven, A Good Year, American Gangster, and Body of Lies, all in the 2000s. He's busy, dude. Busy. <laughs> I knew five your, kind of low. Oh, well. your second question. What legal thriller starring Anthony Hopkins and Ryan Gosling came out in 2007? Fracture. That's correct for two points. Your third question. Who plays former police officer Ed in Identity? Uh, John Cusack. And the lead. Your fourth question. In Insomnia, what crime is Will Dormer being investigated for by Internal Affairs? Mm, corruption? That's incorrect chance for a two-point steal. Uh, Kirk, in Insomnia, what crime is Will Dormer being investigated for by Internal Affairs? Is it planting evidence? That is correct for two points. And Stephen, your final question in the 2000s, what summer job do Jim, Finch, Kevin, Oz, and Stifler wind up doing in order to afford the beach house for the summer in American Pie 2? Multiple choice. All right. Is it A, grocery store clerks, B, dog walkers, C, painters, or D, landscapers? Pinchers. That's correct for a point. And I got it tied up six to six for Kirk's spin. That's what I have. All right. All right. We'll bring that wheel back. Kirk, if you're ready. Here's your first spin. Let's do it. Yeah, 21st century best picture winners. Do you want to keep that or spin again? I think I'll spin away from that one. All right. Here, spin them, which you must keep. Is the 1970s. Oh, that's a little better. Yeah, kind of figured you were going to like that one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kirk, if you're ready for your category of the 1970s. Yes, sir. All right, your first question. The Chiefs' main rivals in Slapshot, the Bulldogs, hail from what city in New York State? Uh, multiple choice. Your multiple choice options are A, Rochester, B, Schenectady, C, Albany, D, Syracuse. There's all some legit. Um, I'm going to say A. A is incorrect, Stephen. Chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, Rochester, B, Schenectady, C, Albany, or D, Syracuse? D. D is correct for the one-point steal. <laughs> that was a total guess. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Kirk, your next question. Who plays both Corky Withers and Fats in 1978's horror film Magic? Anthony Hopkins. That is correct for two points and the lead. All right, your next question. Who directed Hardcore? Oh, Hardcore. Crap. Um, give me multiple. Please. All right. Your multiple choice options are A, William Freakin, B, Sidney Pollock, C, Richard Attenborough, or D, Paul Schrader. Paul Schrader. That's correct for a point. All right. Your next question. Matilda. Revolves around what type of animal? <laughs> um, let's go multiple on that. Sure. All right. Multiple choice options are A, kangaroo, B, chimpanzee, C, dolphin, or D, panther. Let me get those options one more time. Please. Sure thing. Uh, A, kangaroo. B, chimpanzee. C, dolphin. Or D, panther. I'm going to say dolphin. Dolphin is incorrect. Steven, chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, kangaroo, B, chimpanzee, C, dolphin, or D, panther? 
B? B is also incorrect. We refer kangaroo. So this is kangaroo. Matilda. <laughs> I've never heard of this movie. So, Me all right. <laughs> Your final question. Coming home revolves around what branch of the military? Oh. Ho, 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 ho. Um... Give me multiple choice. Sure. Uh, is it A, Navy, B, Marines, C, Army, or D, Air Force? Let's say Army. Army is incorrect. Uh, Steve, a chance for a one-point steal. Is it A, Navy, B, Marines, D, Army, D, Air Force? Marine. Marines is correct for the one point steal. So at the end of round two, I have Kirk in the lead nine to eight. That's exactly what I have. And I can't believe Aaron read a hell Ashby question. That's fine. That's fine. <laughs> um, that makes complete sense, actually. How you say that. Uh, with, that, with that all being said, round three works like this. You guys both picked categories. We know by now that no pick from the Pacino, Stephen picked these 24 23 picture winners. You're going to get three questions worth two, three, and five points. Right? Difficulty, uh, and we'll start with Stephen. And I believe you'll ask him those questions. I will. Yes. All right, Stephen, if you're ready for your two pointer in 21st century best picture winners, who plays Juba, the Nubian gladiator, in Gladiator? Jarman Ansu. That's correct for two points. Kirk, your two-pointer in 70s Pacino. Who plays FBI agent Murphy in Dog Day Afternoon? Oh. oh, it's a I know it's Matthew Broderick's dad. What's his first name? Or, <sighs> Is it please? Stephen Broderick? That's incorrect. Looking for Lance Henriksen. Lance Henriksen. Oh, crap. Dang it. He's the other one. Okay. Yeah. But that will stick with you for your three-pointer. Okay. In The Godfather, Sal Tessio's last request for mercy before he is taken away is directed to whom? Tom Hagen. That is correct. For three points. Go back over to Steve for his three-pointer and best picture winners. All right. If you're ready, Stephen, for your three-point question. What Broadway adaptation is Riggin writing, directing, and starring in during Birdman? I, I don't remember. I'll just say Birdman. <laughs> Uh, incorrect. The answer we're for is what we talk about when we talk about love. All right. So with this, uh, we're in a situation, Stephen. You will need to hit this in order to send it over back to Kirk. If not, Kirk will win. If you're ready for your five pointer in 21st century best picture winners. Near the beginning of Coda, Frank is advised by his doctor to abstain from sex for how long until his jock edge heals. Six weeks. And your winner, Kirk Kowakowski. The answer was two weeks. The answer was two weeks. Uh, so with that being said, we will send Kirk to the back and we will bring in unfortunate <laughs> second place finisher, Steven. Uh, tough break. I mean, it was a tough round one for you, but you, you had a great round two. You battled back. You got some steals when you needed it. Just came down to... You know, some some tough round three questions you couldn't quite pull. So I mean, but not not a bad performance at all, man. How are you feeling? Yeah, I had a pretty disastrous round one, but um and I think I could have done better round win round two if I had gone to multiple choice for the ones that I missed. Um Maybe. yeah. 
Well, so you, you are missing out on the short shot tournament, but you know, with the way we do things here, you're going to come back before you know. We're going to just finish up all these tournaments. We're going to start all over. Is there anybody you're looking forward to playing when you come back? Uh, I'll I'll play whoever. All right, that's a, that's a great answer. We'll make that happen. We can make you play with whoever. <laughs> Steven, thanks for coming today. We're going to drop you back. Talk to Kurt. Yeah, we literally can't because we're the admins. So yeah, Kurt, <laughs> you did it. Yeah, you're you're in the short shot. Nice. All right. How are you feeling? I feel good. Um, I haven't had much success in the league so far. Um, lost my first uh, singles match, lost my, lost my first team match. Uh, so it's good to get off the snide and uh, win one. Looks like the upper hand is on the other foot. Um, Steven played great. He, he um, you know, I think he, we both got uh, categories we picked in round two, and I think he did better in his than I did in mine. So, um, yeah, it was just a matter of, I think, round one. Um, I, I, I was able to hang in there, which I did like my last match too. I think one runs probably my best uh, round in this in this uh, game so far. Uh, but no, um, great questions all around, and uh, yeah, I'm excited to move forward and and uh, like I said, just get a tournament. And you never know what's going to happen. Yep. Well, with that being said, you are now in a match that also consists of one Mr. Aaron J, oh, yeah. one Mr. Caleb Coho, and one Mr. Antonio Chavez. How you feel about facing that cadre? That's a uh, that's a pretty tough uh, matchup. That's a tough room to be in. Um, all good players. Um, love all three of them. Uh, me and Aaron teamed up in another league, so um, know him pretty well. Oh my well. god, that's right. Um, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> but uh, he. Uh, but yeah, I mean, again, I don't know how the strengths and everything are going to work for that match, but uh, it's going to be a free for all. It's going to be pretty crazy. So we'll see what happens. Well, it's not a free for all. We don't own the rights to that. So. <laughs> <laughs> Can't say that. We have to pay money if we say that. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Well, yeah, but so we're going to have you back pretty soon. As soon as we get all the rest of your, we're halfway through the field with you. We're going to get four more people in that match, and then we will have an eight, an eight way frenzy style crazy match. It'll be great. Awesome. Yeah. Sounds fun. Look forward to it. Thanks, yep. guys. All right. Thank you, Kurt. Yep. We'll see you well, that was, it, it started off, you know, lopsided, but Steven battled back. Like, you know, yeah. he, he can, cannot be taken lightly. He definitely was good at yeah. stealing. And then it just came down to the mastery round. And sometimes, like, you know, we tell people, you know, it's, it is Some people didn't see fucking Birdman. Maybe you shouldn't hold that against them. I don't know. That's all I'm saying. So I'll be honest with you. I would. I probably wouldn't have known that either. And I've seen Birdman. So that, <laughs> there's that. Yeah. <laughs> but Very it's not something I would say. It's not something I would say that I, I know. So that, there's that too. Um, but yeah, this is this sure shot's going great so far. I think we got four great competitors going to that match, and we're gonna have four great more before we're done. So mm -hmm. uh, I'm gonna just say thanks to uh, Stephen Shepard. Kirk Kolakowski, thanks to those guys for playing. Thanks to the writers and admins, all you people watching. Thanks to our landlords, the Zarya Montenegro and Mike Hanley for letting us have this uh, great league on their channel. And uh, I'm going to say, though, yeah, buy their shit, all that shit. stuff. Yeah. Check the other shows out. There's plenty of other good shows on this channel, too. Watch that shit, too. Bill, what else? Hit the button, Frank. Uh -huh.